everybody, welcome to your Teen Church message for today. I hope that we learn something new and that we can take it to heart. Let us get started with a prayer. Lord God, I just thank you so much for this time when we can come and just learn more about you, Lord. Lord, I really pray that you just be with us in this time, Lord, that we will learn something new. Lord, I pray that you write a, spe a special message on our hearts, Lord. And I pray that your presence is felt amongst us during this time. I pray this all in your precious Son, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. So, have you ever felt like something just didn't feel right? Like, within yourself. Now, I'm not talking about having a tummy ache or feeling sick, but something deeper than that. That something just feels off. Perhaps it has been a time when you've made a decision and you realize later on that that decision that you made actually wasn't the right decision. Or... Maybe it's when things have just been really tough and it just feels like everything is working against you and everything that you've worked towards just isn't happening and life is just going in a direction that you're not really happy about, that you're not really satisfied with. Maybe you feel like you're stuck or like you're in a rut. Where then do you find your refuge and your hope? Today's Bible reading again comes in the form of a psalm where the writer is facing some serious troubles. So we're going to read it. It is from Psalm 43. So our Bible reading today comes from Psalm 43. And it reads, Vindicate me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. Rescue me from deceitful and wicked men. You are God, my stronghold. Why have you rejected me? Why must I go about mourning, oppressed by the enemy? Send forth your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my joy and my delight. I will praise you with the harp, O God, my God. Why are you downcast, O my soul? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him, my Saviour and my God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So, this is actually quite an emotional psalm written by David. Do you guys kind of remember what we learned about David last week? If you don't, I'll tell you, don't worry. So last week we learned that David's sins were called out to him by the Nathan prophet. The, by Nathan the prophet. And so because they were called out, this caused David to repent of his sins and turn back to God. So the psalm that we read actually comes years and years and years before that, when David was actually still quite young. And in the psalm, well, the context of the psalm is David is fleeing from King Saul and King Saul's armies who are trying to, to capture him, to kill him, because King Saul is jealous of David. This means that David had to leave his family. He had to leave all his family, his friends, and all the comfort and his own house and everyone and everything that he knew, and he had to flee for his life. Imagine that, you having to flee for your life and... Not because you did anything wrong. You see, David didn't do anything wrong. King Saul was just jealous of him and wanted him dead. Because everyone else liked David more than they liked King Saul. So he had to flee for his life because of that. See, this troubled David, David so much that it actually made his soul downcast, as he read in the Bible verse. Which in simpler terms means that he was really, really sad. And he might have even gotten to the point where he was being depressed. As David acknowledges that he is feeling this way, he then turns to God for his comfort and hope. You see, David knew that he could always turn to God and that God would always be there to listen to him and listen to his troubles and who would then also comfort him. David knew that God understood what he was going through. But there are some people who don't have feelings of being sad or or don't have times where things aren't working against them, and that every you know where everything feels like they're working against them, and that's okay. But if you do have troubling times, where it feels like nothing is going right, where you're just overwhelmed, where you're stressed, where your peace is just taken, you haven't felt peace in a while. Where do you then find your comfort and your refuge? Some of us may turn to food. I know quite a lot of you like food because it is easily accessible for some and it tastes nice and it's just this instant, excuse my English, it's this instant satis satis satisfaction or you just feel instantly satisfied, that's the correct way, even if it is only for a, sh a short while. 
maybe you turn to watching movies and series to try and distract you from these feelings of of being overwhelmed and being stressed but all these things kind of only bring a temporary relief from it they don't have any they don't help anything with long term but when we are feeling these emotions of being troubled and when nothing is going right when your prayers aren't being answered when it just feels like the whole world is coming up against you how many of us then t- still turn to god in verse 5 david writes why are you downcast o my soul why so disturbed within me put your hope in god for i will yet praise him my savior and my god see sometimes it's easier for us to turn to god and have faith in god when things are going right perhaps not but when it feels like good things aren't happening it may be a little bit more difficult but you see god isn't like those temporary things god isn't like food that you you know you it's there and then you eat it and then it's gone you know he's not like a movie that has a beginning and an end god is eternal and god is constant when we put our hope in god it means that we have faith in him that everything will turn out all right in verse 3 david writes send forth your light and truth let them guide me let them bring me to your holy mountain to the place where you dwell you see god wants to help us in our times of troubles and especially when we are feeling sad or depressed or even when we are actually feeling lonely a practical way that we can spend time with god is actually found in verse 4 of our bible reading which says which david writes then i will go to the altar of of god to god my joy and my delight i will praise you with my harp o god my god see yeah david knows that by spending time with god that it will lift his spirits and help him to feel a little bit better that god will, and he knows that by worshiping god it will help him to feel better as well Now many of us do not have access to harps and musical instruments but something that we actually quite have easy access to is music and worship music. So next time you are feeling either really depressed or lonely or just anxious or just feels like everything is going wrong and you don't know what is happening in your life perhaps then is the time to listen to worship music to proper worship music. If you need ideas for which bands or which artists to listen to drop me a line and I'll tell you who I'll give you some advice on that see but when you listen to the worship music it allows you to connect with God but in that you also need to listen to the words and reflect on the words and just pray in that time and see what God is trying to tell you you see when we are doing this and listening to worship music and really trying to connect with God that means that we are being intentional in trying to spend time with God and grow our relationship with God because when we are intentional in this god can see our hearts in it and then we will become more aware of god's presence around us and what god is actually doing in our lives so come to god with all your troubles and emotions find your comfort and refuge in god and put your hope in god let us pray lord god i just thank you so much for loving us and for always being there for us lord lord i thank you and praise you that you are You are constant and you are eternal, Lord. You are not like a sandwich that once it is eaten it is finished, it, it, it no longer exists in the world, Lord. Lord, I pray that we can come to you in this time of exam time where we might be feeling a little bit stressed and anxious and it just feels like the world is kind of closing around us and we might be fearing for what's going to happen next, what's going to happen next year, Lord, what we're going to study, what what we're going to do with the rest of our lives, Lord. But I pray that in this time that we can we can seek you that we can be intentional in seeking you and that we can become more aware of what you are doing in our lives and we'll become more aware that you are still working in us even if it doesn't feel like it and we'll become more aware of your presence Lord Lord I pray for each and every single person who is watching us I pray that you be with them this week Lord that they feel your love and your comfort Lord Lord, I pray that you protect them, that you keep them safe and keep their families safe as well, Lord. Lord, I pray that you just help them in whatever they need help with. Lord, whether it's in studying for exams, Lord, whether it's in feelings of being lonely or of being uncertain of the future, Lord. Lord, I pray that you be with them and I just thank you so much again for loving us and for choosing us and for always being with us, Lord. I pray this all in your precious son, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen.
awesome. This was a sweet and short lesson. But I hope you guys take it to heart. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, 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 oh